Amid the threats of the deadly coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, the evening news took its camera to the streets of Georgetown, where citizens shared some of the precautions they have been taking to prevent the spread of the virus. However, they are of the view that more awareness is needed to prevent a possible epidemic. Guyana has already confirmed five cases and one death as a result of COVID-19. Do you think there should be more measures in terms of awareness to the public about the coronavirus? Yes, I do. I do. Because um, I think the fear in the, the people uh, do, do not allow them to really get into depth of the, um, the actual uh, know-how, how to deal with it um, thing. The, the, um, the situation because fear is I think is so overwhelming that the, the, the panic is, is, is evident that people are just here that they will even get this they will die but the main thing um, I would I would say that it's important that they should listen and even those pe people who know that some people are not so literate or might not pay attention to the news could you know advise and um, from what they know about it and have the numbers so the people could call to get the necessary help and so on. Measures you and your family have been taking to save out against the coronavirus? Well, we have a bucket in, in the um, home where we um, use bleach and uh, high wine to show inside the water. And we wash our hands where we load it. Tie it wherever we go, come out, we wash our hands right up. All right. And, um are you aware of the hotlines number that the military has provided? Yes, yes, yes. There is, there is some numbers there. Just in case anything, you know, pop up, you can call them and um, get in touch with them. What are some measures you and your family have been taking to safeguard against the coronavirus? We are using the washing. We are, when we are at home, we wash it with our hands with the soap, and when we come out, we will use our hand sanitizer. And what are your thoughts on uh, the plans that the ministry have for to combat the issue? I think they should go out and, you know, the, the poor people don't have anything, you know, could go and help her with a little sanitizer or whatever, you know, things like that. Reporting from the streets of Georgetown, I'm Shumar Allen for the Evening News.